to get in a better headspace. I started recording about three hours ago, which is around 9, 9.30. It is now with my cellular device. 12.40. I sat down at my dining room table, set up my camera. I sat there for a minute and I'm like, where do I start? Where do I begin? And I just stared, stared at the camera. I kept recording, stopping it, re-recording, stopping it again. I just wasn't happy with what I was coming up with. I text my husband eventually and was just like, I need help. So he comes downstairs and I talk to him. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I'm in tears at this point. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I'm nervous. I just need to express myself how I see fit. So he gives me the best advice that he could. He tells me, you know, wipe them tears. You know, is there anything you need? I ordered some chicken wings. Got the chicken wings. Tore them shits up. Cheese fries. I just needed to comfort myself into doing a video that I felt comfortable with. So after I ate my chicken wings, I was like, you know what? This is not a good space for me. I'm not going to do this in the dining room. I gathered my things. I brought them upstairs to my bedroom. Everybody else downstairs watching a movie. I need to do this the right way, how I feel comfortable. Took a shower. Exfoliated my skin. Witch hazel. Coconut oil. I even put some eyebrows on, but you know. I feel better. I'm in a better headspace than I was when I was downstairs. I didn't know how to introduce my blog. I didn't know how to introduce me. And this is a stretch for me because though I do little snippets and stuff on Facebook, I never truly open up and talk about myself, what I've been through, where I've been, my marriage, my kids. I never get in depth when it comes to that because despite what's funny, there are also parts of it that aren't funny. There are parts that are stressful. There are parts where I cry. There are parts where my husband cries. There are parts where my children cry. It's one of those journeys that I feel is relatable. And a lot of people put the perfect on YouTube, on social media. And that's what I want to do the opposite of. Now, it's not going to be like a soap opera where it's super dramatic and stuff like that but I am going to pour my heart out and I am going to express myself how I see fit so people can relate people can comment people can tell me you know what I should do different what I should not do different I want advice too you know I can't just give advice I can't just speak on myself I want to hear from everybody else as well so as I start my new blog Dear Ashley this is going to be such a journey for me so now that I'm in a better headspace, one of the things that I wanted to touch on is who I am and where I'm from, where I came from. Um, my name is Ashley Pascal. I am from the Bronx, New York, born and raised. I moved to Atlanta when I was 15 years old. My mother brought me down here. And it's been an experience. I've been here in Atlanta off and on for about 15, 16 years. Um, I've moved away, I've come back, moved away, I've come back, you know, those years where you're unstable, you know, you don't have any kids, you could move around and do whatever you please. It was one of those lives for me. So I had my first child at the age of 23, which is still rather young, you know, to have a child. You're still learning, you're still making mistakes, you know, you still wanna live, you wanna party, you wanna have a good time. So I still was living in that element when I had my son. Um, but it did bring things into perspective for me as far as life, because I wanted more for him than I wanted for myself, you know? And it took a while for me to understand how to provide a life for him that was meaningful and beneficial and I wanted to do this before he could remember you know anything so his 
years one, two, three. Like, I just needed to flip my life around. And I didn't want him to feel or go through anything that I had put myself in, you know, put myself through. It was hard. I went through bad relationships. I've been through bad situationships, bad friendships. I've been through things that a lot of people wouldn't believe that I've been through because I carry the weight so well. But I always revert back to the fact that I wanted change for my son. And now he's one of three, but he's the one that made Ashley into the person that she is today. And I look at him now, he's seven years old. He just turned seven on the 12th of May. And I just be like, boy, you don't even know how much you saved your mama. I think, I truly believe he saved my life. He really did. I wasn't doing much of anything when I had him. I was in a bad relationship. Um, went into another bad relationship. And it was just like one thing after another that led me to believe like, I don't need this shit. I need to be a better person for my child. And I did that. And I will get into that further later on down the line.